Hey, how you doing? John here, recording on a normal Monday, but grey, oh no, it's, not. it's Tuesday, recording on a normal Tuesday. It's grey, it's rainy, and it's England. Yesterday, I was doing this, a little bit more exciting, but not exactly the most fun day. But on Sunday, I met the weekend. But before we get to that, let's go back in time a little bit. At Coachella, Able Test Fight, aka The Weekend, did this. And so me, being me, taking the piss a little bit, not really thinking anything of it, said this. And then Able Test Fire said this. And as you know from the last video from a couple of weeks ago, this is what led me and Natalie, my wife, to be able to go to the London show, have an incredible time, be able to go backstage, to stand on the, the VIP section and experience what is undoubtedly the greatest live show I have ever seen. But if you've watched that video, you'll know that it ended on a slightly sad note. Unfortunately, I didn't get to meet the man himself and I feel like with Speed and Ronaldo perhaps that's something that will happen in the future I hope so because uh, it, it would be magical to do that but what I haven't told you yet is what happened next for all the thousands of views that video has one was from somebody very special indeed Abel watched the video Abel loved the video Abel said he was sad that we didn't get to meet but if we're going to be in any of the other cities on his tour he wants to sit down have a coffee and chat it up with us. So what do you do when the weekend himself says, are you coming to any of the other cities on the tour? Cause we can hang out. You get yourself to one of the other cities on the tour. Fast forward to Sunday. No, actually take it back one more day. Saturday the 29th, Friday the 28th, by the way, Travis Scott Utopia came out. What a weekend this has been. Myself and Natalie get ourselves onto a flight to Paris to go and more in hope than true expectation to go and meet the weekend and once again to go and see his unbelievable live show his incredible after hours dawn fm experience we land super late saturday get to the hotel like one in the morning get some sleep and at this point i'm still not sure despite communication with his incredible team exactly if it's going to happen because i'm a realistic person and as lovely and kind as abel has been in our conversations in dm i'm also aware he is about to go and play to 60 plus thousand people in the stade de france that is quite a busy day. But wake up Sunday morning and I get an interesting message in my DMs. It looks like it's gonna happen. Cash, Abel's manager, is a legend. So myself and I have a rare spare morning to ourselves. So we go and explore Paris, see some sights, do the tourist thing. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking this evening could be crazy. And then it gets to about 2 p.m. and I receive a call from Cash's assistant, Raf. Shout out Raf, that we're gonna be able to meet the weekend himself, just get ourselves to the stadium for 6.45, stand in a certain spot, and I'll take you through at seven. It's gonna happen. Heart rate <laughs> intensifies, whoop strap or not, Jesus. So there we are in a beautiful Stade de France at like 6 p.m. looking out at the incredible staging that we already seen. Mike Dean is just about to come on stage and basically just shake the stadium to his roots with this unbelievable synth set that he plays. But I'm at this point somewhat nervous, uh, a bit of an understatement, and then yeah, the time comes. Raf comes to get us and then we start getting taken down um, the players tunnel I believe in the Stade de France where the likes of Mbappe and Pogba would walk out for a match we're getting taken down there and at this point my heart rate is going crazy this honestly felt like nothing that I've ever experienced going to meet anybody unsurprisingly because it was nothing like any experience I've ever had going to meet anybody I get down the tunnel get to his dressing room door bodyguards outside entourage important looking people serious very serious looking people outside unsure about what to do next but everything's fine we're told to come in and then i saw him in a crowded room well it actually wasn't a crowded room it wasn't a crowded room at all uh we went into abel's dressing room and i cannot overemphasize the warmth humility and kindness of this man greeted with hugs smiles kindness shows us the mask offers us some water and then we go and sit it up on the comfy sofas in his dressing room and what proceeds is a truly like this sort of stuff doesn't happen in life really but also it does because it did a sort of 25 minute plus conversation talking about life and family and music and the stadiums in england and fans from around the world and what he's going to be up to and they say don't meet your heroes um and sometimes that might be right but this particular one is, I said this in the previous video, just based on the interactions in the DM, a truly sort of impossibly kind and warm human being to the point where after a couple of minutes of, 
I think, understandable nervousness from us both. And I want to say us both, I mean me and Nat. Uh, maybe it was nervous to meet us, I don't know. After, yeah, after a couple of minutes and Nat doing an amazing job as she does, she's so good at, at talking to people and being sociable, um, at just making everything comfortable. It just felt like a lovely conversation with somebody that you really click with. Uh, for the first time. I'm talking to him about the specifics of Tears of the Kingdom. I know you guys have seen the photo and I know probably a lot of you thought it was like maybe from a meet and greet type situation, but no, that was a specific just for us, <laughs> just after, yeah, 25 minutes of um, incredible, uh, like, like I said, like life defining conversation with truly a true superstar, but a person of the rarest sort of human qualities. But obviously we're not gonna go into all the specifics of the conversation, but I did wanna share a couple of the amazing things that Abel said. Um, he spoke about that he has these ideas and you know it, these sort of creative visions almost that come to him. And then he has this amazing team of people or sort of group of people around him that allow him to bring that to life with their expertise. And that really spoke to me because one, how fucking cool is it that he's just always putting over uh, and you know and bigging up his his people his team i know he's been with like cash and lamar and everybody for 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 many 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 years since the olden days and they built this incredible like literally sort of culture shifting um not even event i can't even think like movement that's the word together and i think that's beautiful but also very very inspiring just to know that somebody is you know is amazing and, and sort of this incredible artist uh, still, you know, needs the right people to make all of these things happen. And I loved hearing that because, you know, I truly believe that. And it made me also want to lean more on the people that I really, yeah, yeah, rate in their expertise and bring more people in as well to achieve some of the things that I've had in the back of my mind that I don't really know how to do. And then another th amazing thing, he spoke so kindly about his fans and um, his connection with his fans and I related that to my connection with you guys. And I spoke about how important it is to me for this channel to not just be about music, but it's also a channel about sort of stepping outside of your comfort zone. It's a channel about sort of breaking free of the things that hold you back. And hopefully the, what I've experienced and shown on camera um, will inspire some of you guys who are uh, wanting to do things with your life, but are being held back by whatever reasons, something, internally and have you break through those barriers yourself as well and to have Abel himself basically tell me that that's what he did you know had those same feelings that so many of us had and he pushed through to create what he's created is something that I'll never forget I mean realistically I'm not going to forget any of it am I I mean I fucking met the weekend I sat with him for 25 minutes what the fuck <laughs> what the hell like, I'm trying to I'm trying to act cool me and that have just been in a daze We've just been a daze but everybody's been so kind as well since the photo came out and I just really want to reiterate his connection and his love for his fan base is fucking real. And I spoke about it on the last video. When he's on stage, and I'll talk about that a bit more in a second, and he is having those moments, especially having seen the gig twice, now the gig, the fucking spectacular, the spectacle twice. There are parts that are really tightly, beautifully choreographed, and they're even more amazing to see second time how it's all put together. But the parts where he goes off and he's interacting with people in the crowd, and he's looking out for faces, and he knows that he is able because able, but he is able because of like who he is and that connection with the fans to give individual people something that they'll potentially never forget, but at least in that moment have something like absolutely incredible. His comfort with knowing that I think is what makes it so special. But this is what he told me. He knows that his music makes people happy, and he told me that my videos make people happy, and that is a, a truly wonderful thing for him to have said and to share. And I then wanted to share that with you guys as well, because I know there's millions and millions, look at the, the footage from Bordeaux uh, of everybody queuing outside his hotel. The millions and millions of fans and um, that have just been to these gigs, let alone from around the world, like it's fucking real. But also it wasn't just me that was there, of course. My wife, Natalie came too. She made the whole thing even more magical. So I wanted to chat to her and get some of her perspective on what it was like to meet the weekend. This experience wasn't just about me. Obviously, my beautiful wife Natalie was there for both times that we went to the gig and obviously was there for meeting Abel as well. So we thought it'd be a good idea to get some of her thoughts on the experience. I want to get her point of view on the experience as well. So I think I was just really apprehensive and nervous because I tend to get nervous when I meet new people anyway. And my default mode is to just talk loads. And I was really worried and conscious that I would come across as 
a like a bit of a fangirl but I'm not like that person but just a bit dorky which is my natural kind of persona and I kept saying to you should I just play it cool and just being like you know just be yourself mm. so I was like okay well don't blame me if we get chucked out after five minutes because I haven't <laughs> I haven't stopped talking his chewing his ear off but um no he was it was just amazing so we first walked in and the first thing I heard because you were in front of me you're walking towards him and the first thing I heard was his like his lovely voice just welcoming us in and I heard you respond positively and I just sort of said oh thank god you weren't catfished <laughs> Because I genuinely was like, mm. could this be? But, and he sort of laughed and then he sort of made a few jokes about a few things. And um, yeah, and he just welcomed us in, asked us if we want some water and just, we sat down with him. And because that was the thing, we wasn't sure if it was going to be like a two minute high. Yeah, get which photo. would have been incredible, by the way. But yeah, what it actually turned into was like he, yeah, mind blowing. Like he invited us to have a seat and and then we just sort of started chatting and he was just asking us questions because I thought, you know, he's not going to be interested in our lives, but he really was. And yeah. he asked us lots of genuinely lovely um, questions, thoughtful questions. And, uh, you know, asked about our, us, our family, um, our life and asked you some like like music questions. Yeah. Um, about, like, yeah, the whole conversation was, yeah, life, family, music, Video film. games chatted video games as well so definitely all my areas of, of expertise i connected over harry potter yeah big harry yeah, potter yeah, fan yeah. so that was good but yeah he was just he was just such a lovely human being and when we walked away afterwards i said a i felt like that was a dream that didn't really happen mm. i was like did that happen that was so strange and surreal but also it felt like you know when you're a kid and um you go to see father christmas and you're so excited and you're like you're just so anxious about meeting him and then you meet father christmas and it's just amazing and then you walk away afterwards and you're like oh my god i just met the real father christmas that's how i felt when mm -hmm. i met the weekend yeah. and then he went out there and he just you know afterwards you're like we just spoke to that guy yeah and he was just like the most loveliest person that you've ever met in the world. So no, it was just a wonderful positive experience. And then to see him go out there and play what was like the best concert that I've ever seen in my whole life. You add that to the way the music is elevated, how you said, oh, like produced, it's almost like a festival feeling. Mm -hmm. We both said that when we were there, like everyone was just like bouncing mm -hmm. and dancing and just into it. It was like you were so into the the, the music mm. like i said when we were there thank you so much abel for inviting us to your amazing show it will live with me forever and it was just a wonderful experience that we'll never forget and yeah thank you for everything so yeah nat's debut on the channel there i'm sure there's going to be many comments asking for her back so yeah if you want that back on the channel you gotta let us know so you'd have seen the photo i put on instagram there are a few more but there was no way that i was going to leave that dressing room without doing this XO, TW, OD, what the fuck is life?